and all the people of honor, uh, members and volunteers in the house, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And those who cannot come because of the rain, and those who are not giving permission, I trust the Lord as, as you watch it online, your miracle will locate you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The theme of this outreach, today's outreach, is woman down at loose. Woman down at loose. You know, it is not possible for you to maximize your potential if you are limited. Now, I'm going to read quickly. Our text is taken from uh, Luke 13, 10 to 13. But I'm going to read verse 10 to 17 before we pray. My assignment is not the one ministry. The Lord has prepared his best one and is on his way. But I'm just to prepare us before he will come around. The Bible says, Luke 13, verse 10 to 17. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had the spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bound together, and could in no wise lift up her soul. That's told. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified her. Somebody will be made straight. It doesn't matter for how many years you have been limited. It doesn't matter for how many years you have been, you know, in one infirmity or the other. I have spiritual, financial, material. The Lord will make you straight today and shall glorify you in Jesus' name. So, and as I said that, and when he has said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. By the virtue of the Lord's visitation upon your life today, people in your environment will glorify God on your behalf in the name of Jesus. My first assignment here is to welcome as many of us that are not giving our life to Christ. Because from that verse 16 that we read, say, and ought not this woman be the daughter of Abraham? So the prayerful side for whom the Lord Jesus had killed this woman was because she is the daughter of Abraham. So if you are here today, you are not giving your life to Christ, or you are giving your life to Christ and you are taking it back from him. So it's another opportunity for you to rededicate your life. So if you are in the house today, you are not giving your life to Christ, so that what the Lord packaged for you, you might receive. If you are there, I just want you to raise up your hands so that we can pray together before we go into other things. So that the package the Lord has for you will be delivered unto you. Is anybody doing that? If you are here, if you are not giving your life to Christ, if you are giving your life to Christ, you want to rededicate your life. Oh, we want to thank God for our life. So we are all one again. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, um, we are going to pray together. Uh, before, just uh, this one is intercessory prayer to prepare us uh, for what the Lord has for us. You know, from that Bible verse that was read, if you read for you will see that after this woman was ill, she was she went into the temple. Now, you know, there are so many things you want to do as women, but because we are incapacitated, you know, somebody that is bad, you know, this was the way she was working. So now you tell us that kind of person to pick to help pick something from the from the rank. No. So that means there are some things you cannot do as a woman. She was limited. So I don't know which area of line. You might be doing well in one aspect of line, but you are limited in the other. So I want you to begin to look at your life. Which aspect of your line are you limited? Is it in ministry? Is it financial? Is it your career? Is it your business? And you want the Lord's intervention. So we will want to pray and say, let's rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet as we go to pray. My limitation or the virtues of my life be exposed and be handled by the mantle that is present here today in the name of Jesus. Can we get call it after me so that you will be able to get it? I would say, Father, let the mystery behind every form of limitation or the virtues of my life be exposed. And be handled by the mantle that is present here today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Father, I want to say, Father, by the reason of my 
present in this room. Give me your testimonies and testimony that will allow others to follow me the next time this program is being called. Open your mouth and talk to God. You pray the same prayer. That's not simple miracles and testimony that will silence all my adversaries. She's going to be. Yeah, that is. And that was the dog. I really need that one. You understand? So those who are mocking you and are delaying the thing will come and say, oh, eh, you're not going to. Show us the way. What is that? Let me say, Father. That's totally a miracle. That will silence all my adversaries. And will make people to rejoice with you. Father, do it for me in this world. In the name of Jesus, Lipo Sikeli Osina, Malik Yaveli said, And what did you saw her? He called her unto him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy fact, and he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was desperate and glorified him. We are going to say, Father, whatever the percent of it, infirmity in my life, and has limited me thus far. I don't know what to write in our prayers. But I tell you, there is a realm that is higher and better than your prince. You might be doing good, but I tell you, there is a grace that is higher than that. I have dwelt too long on this mountain. How you want to move forward? I don't know about you. You say it's what you say to my ear that I will do for you. So you are going to pray and tell the Lord, whatsoever has limited me thus far, whatever represents in God is in my life, in my career, in my business, in my marriage. Talk it to God. I say, Father, I decree my liberty today in the name of Jesus. By the action present in this place today in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, but whoever that is sent me, we are sent. The same person is answering what they call about eight, eight different people. The same person that is answering. Then let's look at our life. Yes. Are you good or wrong? Are you doing well financially? Oh, praise God. Ministry, are you doing well? All your children, are all your children giving you joy? Or when you think about some of them, you're like, go, what is this? Why is this one? Master Kelly Boshan, Yeti Posuto, Yeti Kelly Bosina. You're going to say, Father. Because I'm in this program today, I comfort me on every side. I'm comforted on every side. Every aspect, because the whole world are there. When others are saying, well, if I'm going to try to be hallelujah. We are going to say, because I'm in this program today, Father, whatsoever represents limitation or infirmity in any aspect of my life, is it all my children? Is it all my marriage? Is it all my finances? My career? Some of us, we are supposed to be employers of labor. But because we are limited, we are still going uh, to an infirmity, 12 hours job, and you keep complaining. Ah, they will give you, and this is my boss, it's whatever. We are supposed to be an employer of labor. We are going to say, Father. Father. Women, are you praying? Father. 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 Whatsoever that I sent infirmity in my life and has limited me so far because I am in this program. The theme of the program is Woman, Thou Art Loose. And we start the program and have respect for ladies. We are going to say, Father. Let this program answer his name in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. Let me proceed to the question that I have. Master Kelly was that I have. Don't forget, we are God's last one. He took his time to greet us. And he said, after he has greeted me, I'm saying, I'm going to read verse 27 and 28. So God greeted man in his own image. In his image, in the middle of God greeted him, men and women. He greeted them. Then he said, God bless them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the hands and subdue you and have dominion. Dominion means you are in charge. Spiritually, you are in charge. Financially, you are in charge. They didn't say, Come and contribute money. What to do? Praise the Lord. There is this your back there that used to play. Where are your means? Contributing money, you will not be growing and be lamenting. 
Amen. So we are talking about the woman down and loose. And the purpose of God for you from the beginning is that to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over everything he has created. So let's look at our lives. I'm really exercising dominion. I don't know about you. I'm not there yet. I know what God has said concerning me. I'm not there yet. So I want to be loose so that I can fulfill my purpose. I don't know your expectation. But my expectation for this program is so high. And I know that's what He has for me. And what He has for the channel, every one of us, we will receive. We are going to say, Father, every power that has limited me for fulfilling your original purpose for my life. Today, I declare my liberty. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and talk to God. Master, can you go shower and have your way? Take your place. Glorify yourself. Exhibit your expectation. By the time we shall be living, we will say, How ah, it works for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. To God be the glory. His vessels that he has been are just coming in. Praise the Lord.
delighted to be here. And uh, God is going to do something drastic Amen. in your midst today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a thing of pleasure to serve the Lord whatever at this point. This is Right? right? Yeah. And then all the others are mere women of God who are here. And our invited guest, the Lord of this world. We have also Pastor Mrs. Jason.
if you answer. There are people who are, more, who are supposed to be here that are not here. But someone, if you see yourself naked in the dream, where's the person? Is it here? You saw yourself naked in the dream. Somebody has sex in the dream. No, no, if I call your case, come on. I know we are not an apprentice in this case. <laughs> we know it as no uh, it, it is called the word of knowledge. If I came here, God showed me what he wants to do. You hear me? Another one says in the grave. If I ask, so yourself naked. Right? Naked. If you ask. Sex also. With you. Sex with your brother. Have no wonder God put it across to me. God put it in the end of that. Oh, the execution has. Are you ready? Address this spirit husband by the fire of the Holy Ghost. If I came here, God told me after the revelation of sex today, then sex demon with the face of the brother tell him. If you have then it's a silence from a holy man. That foul I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What are you doing here? Get up! Get up! Get up! Right now, get up in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a temple of the Holy Ghost. You will have nothing to do with it. Your hope, your grief over this one is broken. It is lost. Amen. It is lost. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pass between you and this lady. The fire of the Holy I press your kids with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I command you free. Amen. Sister, you are free. Amen. Permanently free. Amen. The believers shout the Lord Hallelujah. Amen. Your group that have been tapped out with. Uh -huh. A lot of you are going to receive garments, new garments. Amen. And it's not now. Amen. And take new garments, shame reproach out. Shame reproach out. Amen. I deprogram the program of the enemy Amen. concerning your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Delay in marriage is arrested. Amen. Is arrested. Amen. Is arrested. Amen. Is arrested. Amen. The last time you see your why the preaching is going on, even if I mention your case, men will run out. Is that okay? So that it will help our time. Hallelujah. Amen. Woman that are loosed. Our text is taken from Luke chapter 13 and in verse 10 to 17. Luke 13, verse 10 to 17. Behold, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. Eighty years. And was born together. And could in no wise lift up herself. I want to, as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm reading, try to grab what is happening here. There was a woman. It has the spirit of infirmity for eighteen good years, and he was born together, bent and moved together, together. He couldn't look. I mean, lift herself up. 
couldn't stand erect. Are you hearing? Verse 12. And when Jesus saw her, who saw her? Did he beg Jesus for healing? Did he call Jesus? Who called her? Who saw her? Jesus. When Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. I don't come here to beg any devil. Oh, you are too quiet for me this morning. This afternoon. I don't come here to negotiate your healing. I don't come here to beg for your healing. And I am not going to ask you. Are you hearing me? Did I ask you before? God didn't ask you. He just saw your case and mentioned it and you are delivered already. Are you hearing me? Jesus saw her. And address the case instantly. I prophesy to somebody here today. You will receive divine visitation. Yeah. You will encounter Jesus Christ today. Yeah. And you will receive visitation. Yeah. Any part of your body that is affected with infirmity or or sickness, or weakness, or feebleness, God will heal you today. We believe that shout the louder, hallelujah. hallelujah. When Jesus saw her, he called her. So if I call your kids, you run out. You hear me? Jesus saw, and Jesus called. And the woman made herself available. And the power of the Lord delivered her. It was a case of both deliverance and healing. Hallelujah. Amen. And this afternoon, you shall both be healed Amen. and be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, somebody may say, I am not sick. You have cases that are more than sickness. What of poverty? It's not something you go and buy from Panadol to kill. Is it? Huh? Poverty. Can you buy Panadol? Hey, poverty. A lot of people have been taking hold of and go away from it. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, somebody shall be visited with the power of God. And the last time you experience poverty shall be the last time. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, if you hear me, shout the louder hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse 13. And when he laid his hands, just like I did with his sister, my two hands were upon her. And immediately she was made straight. And glorify God. That shall be your experience. Amen. I come here with an instant action unction. There is no delay. Amen. As soon as your case is mentioned, Jesus shall touch you. Amen. Jesus shall heal you. Amen. Jesus shall deliver you. Amen. And you know, and not all quite a number of you shall be empowered today. Yeah. You are not just the one that will be healed. You are not just the one that will be delivered. You are the one that will receive power. Yeah. Receive anointing. Yeah. To go and heal others. Yeah. Deliver others. Yeah. Center. Not Jesus said, as you go, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. And I can assure you, every devil that is behind your challenge shall be cast out. Amen. I'm telling you, not 
dan tidak ada awan jauh Tidak ada awan jauh already asked Believe that shout louder hallelujah Can I share your testimony? Can I share your testimony? In my ministry, I have experienced a whole lot of things in the life of women. I have experienced praying for people and they are delivered. I will be sharing you, I will be sharing with you those testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me finish this scripture and I will tell you the testimony. And the ruler of the Sabbath answered with indignation. Somebody was made he. And somebody else was angry. Huh? Was angry because Jesus healed somebody on Sabbath day. See, there are ten or six days in which men come to walk in them, they will come and be healed and not on Sabbath. The Lord answered and said, Thou hypocrite. Not each one of you on Sabbath day lose his ox or his axe. Stop leading the way, watering, and ought not this woman be a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, knows this a thing is, knows this a thing is to be loose from his born on the Sabbath day, is the question of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to dice. set this scripture as I proceed with the message. Understand the objective of this message is to understand. First, we learn the lessons. Lessons to be learned, things to note from the passage concerning Jesus, the woman. What are we to learn? What was the woman passing through? How did she come about meeting Jesus? And Jesus seeing her and minister healing and deliverance immediately and everything went. I'm going to look at it. The lessons. Then number two. Objective is to understand the power of God to heal and to deliver. The power of God to heal and be delivered. Power of God to heal and to deliver. And then the willingness of God to heal his children. God is ever ready, willing to heal. Hear me shout a louder hallelujah. What are these things to note? What are things to learn? Number one, the woman was bound by Satan. Was bound by Satan. The woman was bound by Satan. 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 Praise the Lord. So Satan was responsible and is still responsible for sickness, weakness, disease, infirmity. Are you hearing me? Don't ever think that, oh, God put disease upon me. The disease is not from God. Or from Satan. Are you hearing? So it was Satan that put her in that condition. Satan was responsible. He was working with his cohorts, demons, called the spirit of infirmity. Is a spirit 
of sickness, the spirit of weakness is a spirit of disease, is a spirit of feebleness, the spirit of fragility. It's called the spirit of infirmity, the demon working with Satan, the master, put her on that condition. Do you understand? I come here with the anointing that is anti-satanic oppression. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody hearing me? And that anointing shall handle that sickness. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, handle the anointing, Jesus Christ, of neither with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about doing good, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil from God was with him. I come here with that Jesus Christ. And he's going to heal you right now. Within you now, and you think God put it there. It is not God. It is what Satan. And that Satan shall be kicked out now. Amen. It shall be kicked out of your life now. Amen. If you believe that, shout the louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan is that that come to steal people's health, people's life, people's prosperity, people's success. Anything good that God has for his people, Satan is that bad boy that steal, that kill, and destroy. But Jesus called that we might have life and have that life abundantly. That shall be your testimony today. If you believe that, shout a louder hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two, the woman was in bondage by her condition, by that same Satan, that same Satan, that same spirit of infirmity. I'm sure you read it. We are all ready to read it. Eh? Yes, sir, sir. Satan. This woman, this daughter of Abraham, that Satan has bound for a deal. Who bound it? Satan. Ought not to be healed, ought not to be delivered. In other words, he, he was not supposed to be oppressed. He was not supposed to be bonded in the first place. So he ought to receive her healing as soon as he met Master Jesus. So he was in bondage. Luke chapter 13, where we read, and in verse 16. Yeah. 
you know, father was in pain with all her idea. Pain, crying, crying. God, what do you want? Say they need operation. Say, this operation you want, so you want me to pray. Say you want prayer. So, I live with the name of Jesus. What I see. Only when God chooses to heal, either by operation or by God operating the Father is healed. Just yesterday, before I returned back from Abuja, now I went to Abuja, if you don't know, uh, I, I met Dr. Poe and then one of them, my father. I don't know how many of you are doing. Are you hearing me? And I am here with fresh anointing. Shout it out, hallelujah. She called me and said, They are going to do things to our idea for promotion. They can't find it. <laughs> Somebody shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. This has been for some time now. I was in Bible school when I was earlier, I was uh, in Bible school. I stayed with my sister in law. South, please, Nabuja. Before I came, he lost one pregnancy. And as I came, she took him and saw the Lord. I said, No! It cannot happen. Then, oh, God cannot be here. And then, one demon. I said, You saw the Lord? But the pregnancy is that If you doubt it, let's go. And went to the hospital. They did test. They saw. One ovary fertilized. Hear me? One egg fertilized. The other one is ovarian cyst. I said, No! It's not ovarian cyst, but ovarian twins. The two boys are in primary school now. I think I shared the testimony, the presence of my wife in, in the church there in first time. Somebody shout out here. Shout the Lord, hallelujah. Another woman like that was afflicted with the spirit of insanity. I was in my I wasn't a pastor then. Even the one you, you, you I was in my school, I wasn't a pastor then. Are you hearing me? Spirit of insanity. And I was having my pastor, Pastor Solomon, and said, and she would say, Go, prepare. See one, the woman will say that. Say, shut up! Don't permit you to talk on that truth. So I want to confess. I want to confess. Where you? Number six. The woman was under oppression for eighteen years. Under oppression for eighteen years. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. You know how somebody is oppressed. Suppressed, so to get it, he wanted to. He could not be free. He wanted to stand in it. He couldn't. He was bad. Hallelujah. Time not permit to tell you the, the difference between oppression, bondage, and the next one I mentioned is he was in captivity for 18 years, but in prison. He was not himself. He was in prison for 18 years. He was back together in a terrible satanic demonic force that kept her and prevented her from lifting up her head. I don't know. Your own may not be physical, your own may be financial, maybe spiritual kind of situation. But I prophesy to somebody here today. Today is the end of that captivity. Today is the end of that captivity. In the name of Jesus. The woman was established in shame and reproach. That's number what? Number four. Was established in shame and reproach. No, it is record that it's record that that it is an honor of a man to stand erect 
That's what differentiates man from other animals. Have you seen any other animal that stand like man? Even if when they are tempted, they don't, they will go and then go back. Are you happy? To stand erect is the honor of God to man. This honor, the woman lost it. So we establish in shame, in reproach, we must walk back and walk it together to God. There was forgiveness. Hallelujah. I don't know what is what kept you in that position. Stagnation. One year, two year, the same position. Every meeting spent on your life. No. People are moving with car, building a house, and enjoy themselves, eating quality food. Your own are very happy to say that I am good for you. And you are a daughter of Abraham. Today is the end of that. And if somebody's faith can receive it, Jesus is here to do that for you. I say Jesus is here to do that for you. If you believe that, shout the loud and hallelujah. The, your father owns the entire universe. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Who told you you will not prosper? Who told you will not succeed? Who told you that you will not make progress? Today, your progress is guaranteed. Yeah. You are power for motion. Yeah. I say you are power. Then you can be empowered by the Holy Ghost. 
you hear me? That is the choir going up. The Bible says he, he take away our iniquity and heal our diseases. So when the iniquity is taken away, you can receive healing, you can receive deliverance. Because iniquity is a foundation for bondage. Iniquity is a foundation for oppression, depression, inflation, and all the shun, all the negative shun. All the shuns. Are you hearing me? Inflection, oppression, affliction, infirmity, all the negativity. Iniquity is a foundation. So iniquity invites calamity and disaster. That's prophet. Iniquity. Bible says, and that spirit that will get your comment. Huh? Pray for this one comment, but that's not in you. Say that one of God keep himself poor, pure, and then the wicked one touches him. Are you hearing me? So you need to be born again. When you are born again, you can receive healing, you can receive deliverance. And the same thing, the same requirement for empowerment. To be empowered. Bible says, Jesus was like such above his fellow, and then his father anointed him. Are you hearing? He has promised us that he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon him. Then, Shout. His weakness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I combine both things together now because of time. So the requirement of healing, deliverance, is that you must be born again. Number two, you must receive the word of healing. Receive the word of healing. Then you can serve God, you serve your God. Huh? Exodus 10. I mean, Exodus uh, 23, verse 25. Hallelujah. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God, and shall bless what? Thy bread and water. Then he will not put any of these diseases on you. There shall be no barrenness, there shall be no miscarriage, and all of that. Service can bring about healing and deliverance. You hear me? We can't exhaust them. But just to mention a few. Just mention a few to you. Stay out of sin. Stay out of sin. Born again. Receive the word of healing. He said this word. Heal them and deliver them from all their destruction. Psalm 107 and in verse 20. Psalm 107 from verse 20. The same word can heal you. Then you serve God. Then you are empowered to be a healing to God. Not upon you feel the shadow of hallelujah. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Are you happy? Yes, sir. This is exactly two times. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Worship him, give him praise, celebrate him. Malaka Shadaka Kayaku Kusuku Tayaba.
conception. Let me show you my name. By the revelation of God. So that because I have What did I write to Delay in conception. Delay in conception, delay in money. All of those things God revealed why. Well. Now uh, it is time. I'll pray for you. Five broad convert to five boy yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The last menstruation you see shall be the last yeah. because you are this condition arrested, yeah. commanded, paralyzed. Yeah. The Lord turn around your captivity yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Five bread. Away, and then the boy take position Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They say it was Obeah's seed. I say, No, it's Obeah's priest. They say it is Bible. And I am saying, by the name of the Lord, it is a fine. It's called receive sufficient amount of yeah. Amen. Yeah. As you go home to live, it's around, right? Uh -huh. You will sow a seed into your system. Yeah. And it shall be poor. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 All fast acts. Respond. Arresting time. Amen. Name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Give Jesus a bigger.